The guy who loves snow but never hits the slopes was quick to share a series of posts mocking Paul Pelosi. Don Jr.'s Instagram notes his self-declared title of Meme Wars General, but he soon deleted the two memes and is yet to update his bio. Hi, this is Herschel Walker. I'm in Lawrence County at one of the best restaurants that I love to go to called the Golden Corral. And I want to just say, we want to thank Mr. Walker. He does so much for Herschel. doubling Herschel. Herschel. He does so much for doubling the Lawrence County. We want to present him with an honorary deputy badge from Lawrence County, Georgia. Not a prop. <laughs> the human helmet advertisement still doesn't understand what a prop is. And an honorary badge is about as effective as the invisible condoms he's worn for decades. It is pouring MAGA tears. Don Jr., Trump, Ted Cruz, and Fox News scramble to form a junk narrative around the Paul Pelosi attack because they are trying to pivot from the fact that David DePap is a product of the trash they've been peddling, and his own taped confession and family interviews say just that. Plus, I check out the latest and stupid including Trump rally geniuses and a hilarious new genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book and more. The guy who handles more keys than a janitor but never opens a door tweeted, The internet remains undefeated. Also, if you switch out the hammer for a red feather boa, you could be Hunter Biden in an instant. Naturally, I replied, Although the party of family values went straight to the gutter mocking a man in his 80s being assaulted, the person most offended by this tweet is your own father since Diaper Don has not worn underwear in years. Pelosi said there was, that could turn blue. She said that two years ago. So if they cheat, which Mike Lindell said there was a hundred million, a uh, million votes stolen. So. so out of the 154 million votes in the 2020 election, this stable genius believes 100 million of those were stolen because that's what he thinks he heard the pillow manufacturer gone mad say. As bonkers and as bad at math as Lindell is, I don't think even he's stretched it out that far. But these smooth brainers hear the lies enough and then they arrive at their own figures and they end up swinging hammers. Eventually it came out that David DePop overstayed his visa by 20 years and uh, Ted Cruz tweeted shocker. Yes, DePop did overstay his visa. This is how most people are illegally in most countries and was a major reason why many mentioned again and again that the wall was a waste of money since people can fly over and just not fly home. Like many others, Ted Cruz is pushing this he's a junkie and a homeless narrative, which is the same as they were all just tourists on January 6th. Again, here's Dinesh's mugshot. This is the guy who pled guilty to one felony count of making illegal contributions in the names of others. Don Jr. deleted his two memes on Instagram. You saw one in the tweet before. Here is the other one that was deleted. I've cropped some of it. Uh, yes, again, promoting this insane narrative that this man was not there to injure and possibly murder Pelosi, uh, but that he was having a love affair with, with this man in his 80s. Ridiculous. I know someone who was attacked with a hammer in a home invasion, and they lost an eye. We took the documents, top secret and classified, because it was convenient. If you're a Jared Kushner, you can pound whatever you want, and that's a problem. Fist his nuts, okay? If you're Ivanka's kin, okay? Like me and Eric, uh, you get no sister time. Bros needed, okay? Folks, we ain't the problem. Shirts didn't have any profanity. I understand that they sell them here, but if they have anything that you would not wear to your grandmother's house, please refrain from wearing it inside because we are better than that and we are going to look better than that. If you sell them there, you're not better than that. Odds are their grandma's a right-wing nutter with a Confederate flag on her front porch. So I don't think the faux prep talk from the MAGA fun police who ordered a special extra small shirt for this occasion had any effect on this lot. 
According to the LA Times and interviews with his family, DePap maintained a far-right blog filled with QAnon junk about vaccines, the war in Ukraine, Pizzagate, and had recently 20 anti-Semitic posts over a 10-day period. But wait, there's more! This homeless guy with the blog is also a movie critic, reviewing the recent film Black Adam, saying, Fantastic performance by Mr. The Rock. He carried the movie but also noted that Black Adams was just a plot device for a Hollywood push to their white hate narrative. Donald Trump chalked this politically motivated attack to crime in cities run by Democrats, saying in an interview, With Paul Pelosi, that's a terrible thing. With all of them, it's a terrible thing. Look at what's happening in San Francisco generally. Look at what's happening in Chicago. What is going on here? Is Trump supposed to be carrying her, or is she giving birth to him? Either way, he's in diapers. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. For those new to the show, I'm glad you found me. Thank you. For months, I've been reading a genuine page each week from Lauren Boebert's book. Today, we continue from where we left off, as Lauren and her husband continue their elaborate plan to steal buns for their food stall. Let's get back to it. I had the buns in position for the taking? But Jason with the Y still wasn't ready at the back door. Janice, the manager, wanted to talk to me, which means my false flag was working. But her foreign minimum wager was nowhere to be found. Valentina was gone, girl. I'd slipped into the restroom to reverse everything. I took the old Trojan out of my hair and went from ponytail to morning hot. The next part was challenging, but totally necessary. I needed to commit. I wet my collar and then rubbed it across the teeth and one by one the corn kernels appeared. I licked the rest of the white out away and inspected my mouth in the mirror. I missed having a smile as white as the sheets at grandpa's meetings and I promised myself right then and there that I would do something about my corn cob mouth. I still had more work to do though. I slipped the adult store glasses in my purse and felt a pinch. I had been bit, and that's when I found my pet hamster, Mountain Dew. Yes, you're probably thinking, who names their hamster Mountain Dew? <laughs> but it was his favorite drink. So I stroked him with my melted press on nails and let him know that I had no idea he'd been hitching a ride this whole time. And I promised him I'd feed him this week. So wild that my furball friend is in there because when Lauren gets a little tipsy... I've been known to swing my purse at Jason and Cops. Mountain Dew would probably like the roller coaster ride of hurling through the air, but I think the impact wouldn't be super good. Then, I heard the distinct rumble of our truck. Thank God for Tyler's SOS phone call and that we sold our muffler for casino money. We lost it all, but if I hadn't fed the slots that cash, I may not have heard Jason revving that American engine. The Lord works in mysterious ways. It was wildcat time, and I pounced out of the toilet, hair down, glasses off, and corn teeth ready to go. Totally undetectable. We dragged the pallets of buns out back, and Tyler joined me and Jason tossing the buns in the back of the F-150 next to the tub of the Newport smoked marinated meat-looking food. Like most things with my hubs, it was over in seconds. Tyler felt left out. He really wanted to come too. But the reality is, Tyler was too young and not a girl, so Jason with the Y chased him off like the dog I got him for Christmas that he forgot about before January. Go on! Get! 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 He shouted at Tyler, who scurried across the McDonald's parking lot as we escaped. It was like a fairy tale. I hope you've enjoyed this genuine page from Low Rent Booze Burp's latest book. Uh, if you have, please let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll consider reading another page in the near future. Thank you. Charlie Crist is back on Fox News to again make the hosts on the entertainment channel for Mary Cousins look stupid. My last question is this. On the list of issues that Florida Floridians care about the most that Bill showed in the board right before you came on, uh, crime was the last one. And that's not the case all across the country. Do you give Ron DeSantis some credit for keeping that issue, uh, you know, crime down, keeping that issue off the people's minds, because the rest of the country is seeing something very different? 
with all due respect, Dana, crime is up under the DeSantis administration. And I was governor, too, in the past. Crime was down under my administration. So if you want to look at crime, the one who's better on keeping Floridians safe is Charlie Crist. Well, Sir, uh, thank you for your time. Um, maybe in the next couple of weeks we can have you back, okay? Charlie Chris. I look forward to yep. it. Thank you both very much. Your governor in Florida, appreciate you taking a few moments with us today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He looks like he's about to burst out laughing here. I look forward to it. You're morons. Okay, I showered today. I don't stink because the same people, all four sleeping with my sis, will say that Eric and I should be credited to one night a year. So I'm owed her bed. I'll wear a thong. Yeah. Get in bed with me. In a voluntary interview with San Francisco police after his arrest, David DePap said he set out to hold Nancy Pelosi hostage and interrogate and torture her. Police said the suspect told them if Nancy were to tell DePap the truth, he would let her go. And if she lied, he was going to break her kneecaps. DePap said he considered Nancy Pelosi the leader of the pack of lies told by the Democratic Party and that by breaking Nancy's kneecaps, she would then have to be wheeled into Congress, which would show other members of Congress there were consequences to actions. Okay, if you want to see someone in a wheelchair with consequences to their actions, I give you primary loser Republican orgy boaster Madison Cawthorn. I mean, it, it, Trump honestly looks like a priest compared to Biden as far as behavior in the White House. I mean, Trump does look like a priest. One of these. Or these. Or these. Only bell do hit here is your, your head. Show sucks. Mega tears. Hey, hey, can't wait for 2024. I so hope Trump runs again. Mega tears. Idiots like you have killed America. Mega tears. Stop with the voice stuff you do. And enough joking about Lauren Boebert. She is very success than you. Mega tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media and following me on mine. It costs you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. So if you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or smash that super thanks button. And be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those mega tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and have toured with Jim Jeffries for several years. I have three albums, you can stream them on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool, be kind, take care.